Mixing up the right amount of base paint for your Dutch pour paintings is critical. Stick with me till the end of this video and I'll tell you how you can get my free cheat sheet PDF download to know exactly how much base coat you need for your size canvas. Hello, this is Becca from Becca Harkins Art and today I'm going to be working on a 24 inch by 30 inch canvas. Yes, this is a little bit on the bigger side for me, but I just have this thought in mind that I want to create something that is super calm and peaceful, but on a big scale. I am using a piece of chalk here just to create the base composition on my canvas before I pour it out. I like to do that so I can kind of get an idea for how I'm going to flow my lines and where I'm going to pour my paint before I get started. Developing the color palette for this painting, I really wanted to go for a very calm and peaceful, tranquil look. So I started out with cobalt blue. I added in some vermilion orange and some titanium white, and that softened that cobalt blue to this gorgeous color that you see here. I also custom mixed the rest of the colors that are going to go in this painting except for titanium white. I will list the mixtures that I use in the description below. So I decided to use the palette knife to move it around because sometimes I find that I can get a little bit of a thinner base using the palette knife than I end up getting when I use the blow dryer to move the paints around. And to be quite honest, I was a little bit nervous that I didn't have enough for my base. I used about 32 ounces of paint mixed with pouring medium for a 24 inch by 30 inch canvas. I get a lot of questions about how much base coat is enough for what size canvas. Because I have the best YouTube subscribers on the planet, I have decided to put together a pre-calculated sheet for you to tell you how much base coat I would recommend for your canvas. It goes all the way from four inches by four inch canvas all the way up to 30 inch by 40 inch canvas. I use most of the most popular canvas sizes in the US and I calculate which size canvas equals how many square inches equals approximately how much base coat you will need in fluid ounces. I erred on the side of caution and rounded it up a little bit because it's always best to have too much than not enough. Stick with me until the end and I will tell you exactly how you can get your own copy of my Dutch Pour Base Coat Cheat Sheet. The first color that I'm laying down here is Titanium White by Amsterdam. This is mixed with Olga's Group 2 recipe. If you want to learn how to mix according to Olga's recipe and layering methods, you can click in the link in my description and it will take you to her course. I like to use white as the first layer that I pour because it really helps the other colors to stand out against the background. I did a video last week about layering and transparencies and if you'd like to see that video you can click on the link up here in the corner or you can check it out after you're done this video but it will explain a lot why I choose to layer the way that I do. The second color that I lay down is cobalt blue and that is mixed with some vermilion orange just to tone it down a little bit. The cobalt blue was super bright and exciting. I loved it, but as I was looking at the colors together, it just wasn't really going together for me. I needed a more of a toned down darker blue. So I added some vermilion orange to it and it was perfect. Next, on top of the dark blue, I am going to add a little bit more titanium white because I really want this somewhat transparent, also custom mix color <laughs> to stand out. This is primary magenta mixed with some iridescent blue green by Pebio. Never mixed those two colors before, but it created this almost like brownish clay, purpley kind of color. And I really liked it. And that was mixed with group one. And then on top of that was Amsterdam gold. You can see that I kept most of the color towards the one side of the canvas. And down there at the bottom or the left, I kept it to the blues and whites. I really wanted it to be thin with no cells down towards the bottom. And then where it opens up near the top, it would be like blooming foliage opening with the speckles of the cells adding so much more interest and complexity to where it opens up into a larger area. 
So that is what I was going for here. <laughs> you can just watch and enjoy the process, see how it turns out. There are a couple sections where I didn't like the way it looked and I kind of blew it over and scraped it off and tried again. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. That is why I recommend having extra base coat because it gives you the flexibility to work on or fix parts that you don't like as much. So I'm going to turn on the music. I'm going to stop talking, let you enjoy the painting process, and I will come back at the end to tell you how you can get your free base coat calculator cheat sheet.
love the soft beauty of this painting and the way it turned out. My husband thinks it looks like a bird flying off into the sky. I would love to know what you see, so go ahead and drop it in the comments and tell me what it looks like to you. And as promised, you can download a copy of Becca Harkin's art, Dutch Pour Base Coat Cheat Sheet. Just click on the link in the description, enter your email address, and it will be in your inbox in a moment. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I will see you for the next one. Thank you.